just make sure it's not the taste buds sort of taste, the food taste, because we don't have that. We don't have food. All right, that's it. There's no more running. I wasn't running. Yes, you were. Whatever. Fuck you. Hi there. Grindles seem hard to kill. Whoa, that was creative, but nice work. I picked up. We've got this. Sorry, I don't know if you consider yourself a freak, but I am a freak for sure. A freak for sure.
One more visually better than the last. You know what? I don't see this often, but I'm fully sated right now. I actually need a rest. You there, bounty hunter? Mantuous? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I know who you are, and I want you to know how fucked you've made things for yourself. You were living in heaven before you meddled with the G3. <laughs> oh, okay, that sounds bad. Bounty Hunter, I've got the two most important people in your life, and I'm going to kill them. <laughs> oh, but not right away. First, I'll make things miserable for them. They're going to suffer as much as you've made me suffer. Uh-oh! I'm not going to ask you to stop. I doubt you'd listen. I'd just like to inform you that I'm going to make sure you die. And that it's going to hurt. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Besides, you won't even be able to get to my new base on Earth without the proper coordinates. So just sit tight until I come to kill you myself. Sorry, bounty hunter. We'll stop him, I promise. Well, that was fun. Thanks for having me. Where do we go now? To your home base? brothers and freed us again. Thank you. Thank you. God, you're really on fire, aren't you? Obviously, you're not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey, I'm gloppy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your growing reputation. Yo, you guys are fresh out of Frendelos. Oh, hey, I I'm Tweeg. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Tweeg. You need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friend the lows and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who 
one who bought those fucking friendalos. And leave Twig alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Twig. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. Exactly. Hey, Twig, you gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. Oh, come on. You shouldn't even get to decide. It's my house too, you know? Fuck all of you. Aw. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know how many holes he has? And they're all really advanced level holes. You really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on our couch and mope about how sad your life is. You're a leech trying to eat all of our friendalos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory days. Hey, your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as... I could have done it, but, uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic! Tell him how pathetic he is. Yeah, no shit! I'm pathetic! That's my whole deal. I'm homeless and legless and probably riddled with mental illnesses, which I'd know for sure if I didn't think therapy was a fake idea. You don't need to rub it in. I'll rub it in all I want. You're like 80 years old. You can't take a little shit talking from a teenage girl. Jesus, I'm not 80. I'm 230. And that's really young for my species. I just don't want your creep boyfriend to steal my couch. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Twig. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Twig. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned! You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Twig moving in, right? Hell yeah! That's the right call! Twig's a creep! You think I'm a creep? You are a creep. Everybody better stop calling my boyfriend a creep. Effective immediately. You know, I just didn't realize I was a creep. Ugh, that's enough of this. Twig, let's go to the park. To... <laughs> to, to kiss? <laughs> yeah. Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. Can't wait to show you those new commercials. Carrying Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water.